so pissed. I really thought I was showing y'all how I do my edges, and I wasn't even recording. But anyways, it's me and Sia Sierra Michelle, and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, today we will be talking about press on nail boxes. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel so that you don't miss any content that I... What is this? Anyways, so, um, yes, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like this video and make sure you leave a comment down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're true to my channel, welcome back. So, I've been getting a lot of questions on these press-on nail boxes. And I didn't plan on making a video this soon, but I just decided to roll up out of the bed and go ahead and answer you all's questions. So, everybody wants to know where I get my press on nail boxes. If you haven't seen the original press on nail video, I showed you all how I make my press on nail, what I do as far as um, the products I use, how I make good quality press on nails, where I get the nails from, all that good jazz. Um, if I do not answer any of your questions in this video because I forget for some reason or you have any new questions, definitely leave them down below and I will make another video to answer them. But let's just jump straight into it. Y'all know I don't like being real long winded. At least not all the time. But anyway, so a lot of people want to know where I got the bling boxes from. A lot of people want to know where I get my custom boxes from. So when I first started doing press on nails, I went on AliExpress. If you type in eyelash boxes, these boxes here will come up. So they have a variety of colors. They have a variety of shapes and things. So I decided to start with this simple bling box. If you haven't already, make sure you follow my business page at Sierra Michelle Selections. I will leave it down below. These are press-ons right here. I make short ones. I make long ones. I even have some extended ones now. I'm super excited to show you all those. But anyway, so I chose to get the one with the iridescent background. I did have some that had like a white glitter um, sort of background. And I just like to have a different variety of colors just so I can mix and match depending on what set of nails because every all nails aren't going to match this red box. All nails aren't going to match the other boxes. So let me just show y'all. Like I said, type in eyelash boxes. As you can see, it still has the eyelash tray in here. So you just slide it out. That's my alarm to get up and do what I'm doing now. But yeah, so I just normally slide this out. You can actually slide it all the way out. And you could go ahead and pop this piece of plastic out. And I would normally take the whole entire thing out here. I will take this out carefully. I will get some thick double-sided tape. I get the thick one. I find that the thin double-sided tape, like um, off the scotch tape roll and things like that, it really does not work that well for me. I also found some other ones on Amazon that were kind of thin. They had like a red peel on them. Those really didn't work that well for me. So I get the thick double-sided tape. A lot doesn't come on the roll, but I normally buy it in twos. I'll measure it out. I'll cut a strip. I don't like to have access tape showing, so I try to cut it as short as I can cut it but so that you you still won't see it if I'm remembering properly these for the most part you do need to go from end to end as you can see this is what a set looks like in this box so these are my medium nails so these are my short ones they actually come a little bit longer but I cut them this short just because that's just how I like them. If I do have somebody who wants them a little longer than this, they actually come longer than this. Like I said, I cut them. But this is my medium coffin pair. And as you can see, you can barely see the pinkies because it's literally from edge to edge. So I will measure out and I will put the strip across here, take this peeling off, and then I will go ahead and I will stick each individual nail on there. I will pop it back in here. And then I will slide this back on like so. So I got the red ones. As you can see, I have some black ones as well. And then I also bought it in this little iridescent, well, crystal AB sort of color just so and I also had some silver ones too so that way you have a variety based off of whatever nails it is that you're doing whatever color they are whatever design they are so also when I first started selling nails I also used to sell plain sets like that but then you could also do like an add-on for like a design nail so I would buy these lash trays these small circle ones I also had these in a variety of colors as well these just open up right here at the bottom so you take this lash piece out here 
This is also a lash tray. This is a circle one. So you take this out and then I will go ahead and put a little strip here. This does not need to go end to end, but it also depends on how many nails that they order. So you can put up to like four nails in here. A lot of times I will do two. People will order like two index fingers, two middle fingers. Sometimes they'll order a middle and an index or a pointer and a ring, whatever the case may be. So you could go ahead and I would sell this, but then I will also have these. So definitely when I had went and I did my first pop-up shop, I did a lot of solid sets and then I would do a lot of the action nails as well so that way if you want a solid set cool but if you also wanted to add on something i had these as well so i would do like different line designs i did a lot of the bling nails in here all that good jazz so that's how that goes like i said just go on aliexpress type in last trays and i bought a whole lot of them they come in a variety of colors you can get blue you can get pink i just kind of stuck with this little sort of selection right here because i knew once i built up my nail brand i knew that i wanted to get custom boxes but i wanted my business to be able to pay for those custom boxes versus me just coming out of pocket with those custom boxes so depending on what your business budget is you can just go straight to this so these are my new current boxes that i'm using so this is my logo I got my logo done by Angel Graphics on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down below. She's great. She also did my website. If you have not seen my website already, make sure you go ahead and you follow it. It is shopselections.com. I will leave that down below as well. I sell my nails on my website and I also sell my shoes because if you follow me, you will know I also have a shoe boutique. So she also did my website. Really, really good. Bomb. She has great communication. Love her. So she made this for me a long time ago. I've had this for about maybe probably two or three years now. And as you can see, the X is in red. So I also had her and she did it for free. Bless her heart. I also had her give me this logo, but I did the X in many different colors. So I got the X in red. I got it in white. I got it in purple, yellow. I got it in all colors because when I decided to change up and do different graphics and things for the holidays, I wanted to make sure that I had orange for Halloween. I had red and green for Christmas. I had red and blue for 4th of July, things of that nature. So I just kind of switch it up a little bit, but yeah, these are my boxes. So if you go on AliExpress as well, you can type in press on nail boxes. These will come up. Um, that's what these are. And they sell them plain. They already have pre-made ones. I paid to have my logo on them. I do not remember how much they cost. I think it was like 200 something dollars for um i said 200 something yeah no it was like 200 dollars, and i think i got like 200 of them they came in a really really big box so and then i also customized it and i put may your day be as flawless as your nails right here so and then it says sign by selections this is a pair of my medium ones for, i said medium this is my long length right here this is a pair that i did like I said, all my press-ons are handmade. If you're interested in seeing how I make my press-on nails and why I price them the way that I price them and it works for me, go ahead and make sure you go watch that other video that I made because it's very detailed. If I did miss something, let me know. I will redo the video. I have no problem doing that. But yeah, um, I get a lot of my jewels and things off of Amazon. Amazon is definitely your best friend when it comes to this, comes to press-on nails. And you know, just things like that let's see and then i also just got this new length thing y'all i'm super super excited so this you still this is still my most popular because a lot of people are not into so these are my xxl that's what i call these these are my xxl length like i said these are my medium so it goes short it goes medium and then it goes to i do have some long square ones nobody really gets those these are my most popular my xxl but then y'all just recently i got into that the xxxl and i'm super super excited i personally have not worn these yet i have not made a lot of them um i've actually only made two of them but i have some more prepped but if you follow me on instagram again then you will know your girl just bought her first house which is why i'm confined to just going ahead and filming in my bathroom because my apartment looks a mess because i've been packing I move next week. I'm super excited to do a home tour. So make sure you go ahead and hit the notification bell so you do not miss that. Follow my design page for all of the decorations and things that I have coming or the DIY projects. I'm going to leave everything down below. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that so you don't miss anything. This is the XXL 
XL. XXXL, y'all. So I bought another pair because I figured these were not going to pick up on camera. These are real Swarovski stones, but I decided to do a French tip bling set. Absolutely love them. These are priced, I believe, at $160, $180. I don't know. Go look on my website. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I forget my own prices, to be completely honest, because I have so many things priced. But let me show you these ones because you could probably see them a lot better. So this is ooh, this is another XXL XXXL pair. So you can kind of see them a little better since these are fully painted. I'm so mad that they're not really picking up on the camera, are they? Can you see them? So this is a pearl and crystal set right here. I forgot how much these are priced at, but yeah. I absolutely love them. Like I said, I have not worn them yet, but I'm super excited. This is given that Ari length that she used to wear. If y'all know who I'm talking about, Ari Fletcher. Yes, you already know. If you know, you know. This is that length that she used to wear. So I'm super, super excited. I'm so glad that I found these. I absolutely love this set. I actually think I might wear both of these, to be completely honest. I actually might pull them off of the site. But yeah, so go on AliExpress, definitely. And type in press on nail boxes, type in eyelash boxes. Go ahead. A lot of times you can click um, send an inquiry or you could click, I think it says chat now. You could go ahead, let them know like, hey, I have a press on nail business and I want to do some customized boxes. You can also write them, ask them, um, hey, what kind of boxes do you already have pre-made if you don't want to pay that customization fee? And they have a plethora. Just kind of go through there. It's a bunch of different vendors. They offer a lot of different things. They have different shape boxes. I mean, when I say it's a plethora, like it's it's a whole, whole lot. So don't just go in there and click on the first or second one that you see. Actually go through, scroll, and, and see what you can find. Some people's communication is better than others. So you just kind of got to find your way. Absolutely love my vendor. Um, um, but I only use them that one time, I believe. Because I believe the bling boxes and the custom boxes were from two different people. Um, definitely shop around for prices. Everybody's prices are not going to be the same. Everybody's MOQ, which means minimum order quantity, is not going to be the same. So if you do have a smaller business, you can also filter your results on AliExpress. And you can um, filter what you want the MOQ to be. Do you want it to be an MOQ of 10, an MOQ of 20? Sometimes they have an MOQ of 30. Sometimes they have an MOQ of 100, 200. So definitely shop around and find what works for you. Before I forget, I also want to tell you all about these cute little key card holders, pullers, card grabbers, whatever you want to call them. You can also get these. Well, I have them in a variety of different colors. Um, I have some that say boss babes. I have pink ones. I have pink, white, and black ones. I have purple ones. This one is just like a little Louis Vuitton sort of mimic sort of situation. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, these are good for keeping them on your keychain, just keeping it in your car. I'm actually going to put this one in my car because so many times I have forgotten mine in the house. But anytime that you're at the gas station, you're at the ATM, your nails are too long, your clients can go ahead and use this to put their card, hold their card in, stick it in, pull it out. I know I be having that problem all the time, and then I always have to go into the gas station, things of that nature. Hate it. If you don't have the top card, you're definitely going to need one of these. So sometimes I throw these in, depending on how much my client spends. I have clients that come, they spend two, they spend three, they spend $500 on nails. If they're making a pretty big purchase, for the most part, I always include a cute oil i include rings if i have um bracelets or anything i include those as well and then i will also throw this in for free other than that i do have these for sale but yeah if they spend you know a decent amount of money you know you want your clients to have incentives sometimes you just want to throw a little extra gift in if it's around the holidays or something like that these are also good they're very inexpensive just go on there when i say go on there Type in AliExpress has any and everything you need. If you have not downloaded the AliExpress app, make sure you go ahead and download it because they have everything that you need. Okay? Bye.